Hello, my name's Chris. For today, I'm going to start a Ubuntu on Proxmox. This makes it to where you can have a good base to where you can install just about anything, Docker or anything you want, just off this base operating system. So, uh, a little bit about this series, I'm going over a home lab, so I'm going over installing things, getting things ready, everything like that, and showing you step by step. So, uh, if you like that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. So I'm going to start with Proxmox V helper scripts and um, I'm going to go to um, GitHub and I'm going to go to install and then I'm going to type in Ubuntu up in the search and it's going to uh, set de default settings and then it's going to update the script to where if you actually run this uh, this command inside of your VM actually it'll it'll update it without git update and then uh, I get upgrade and um, start build, build the container and then complete it successfully and then now if you go to Ubuntu you go to install and um, you can see that it's setting up the container so it, it's installing the base operating system and the other files and it's gonna update the uh, dependencies curl sudo and then MC and then it's going to set SSH, customize, and then it's going to clean up. So I'm going to go back to the Proxmox VA helper scripts, and it will be down in the description so you can get to it easy. Um, I'm going to go up to the search box, and I'm going to do Ubuntu, U Ubuntu LXC, and then you can select 20, 22, and 2210, and um, a Ubuntu distribution uh, based on Debian. So I'm going to um, copy this command and it also has the default settings of 512 megabytes, two gigabytes of storage, one, uh, one CPU, but you can change that in the advanced settings. So I'm gonna go over to my uh, Proxmox and get this installed. So now that we copied the uh, script, I'm gonna go into my uh, node and then to my shell and then in here in my shell, I'm going to paste in the command that we copied over in the scripts, the helper scripts. So I'm going to press enter return. This will create a new Ubuntu LXC proceed. Yes. And then if you want to use uh, default settings, you can. You can also go through advanced settings and then pick what uh if you want debian or ubuntu so i'm gonna pick the ubuntu i'm gonna pick jammy and you can go on privileged you can set a root password so i'm gonna just do password and then you can set the container id so you can go extreme like to 300 you can set the um the host name so ubuntu yt and then you can set the disk size, so I'll do 20 gigabytes. You can set the cores, so two, and then I'll set one, one gigabytes of RAM. And then you can set up the bridge. You can set up a static IP if you want to. You can disable the, uh, the IPv6 or no. Set the MTU size. You can set the DNS search domain. Set the DNS server IP. You can set the MAC address, leave blank for default, and then you can set a VLAN if you want to. You can set up enable root SSH access, and then you can set up verbose mode to where it'll go through and show you more details when you're installing. I'm going to say no to that. And then ready to create, and it'll say that you're using the advanced settings right here. And then it'll it'll go through and create the Ubuntu uh, container, the LXC container, and then starting the LXC container, and then setting up the container operating system, which is going to be Ubuntu Jammy. And then it's uh, connected to the internet. It's resolved the IP to GitHub. Then it's updating the container operating system.
these exact steps uh, I showed you in the .sh files in, in the repo. So it's happening just like what you see over there. Installing dependencies now. And cleaning up. And then it completed successfully. And if you look over here to the left, you'll see a idea 300 right here. So you can go into that and you can put in root as your username and then password, uh, the one that you set over in the script. Yep, just typed it in wrong. Um, okay, root and then password. And then there you go, you're signed in and you can run the commands. You can also install a, a Docker containers too in here. And then um, by just installing Docker, but that's how to get uh, a Ubuntu on Proxmox. So I just showed you how to install Ubuntu on Proxmox. This gives you a great base to uh, to install Docker, to install anything uh, that you want uh, that can run on a Debian operating system like apt-get and for package management, everything like that. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any support questions, uh, any video suggestions, or anything like that, Join our Big Bear community. Uh, we have created the Discord, so go, go in there and join that. And stay tuned for more.